Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Gemma here. How are you today? In today's lesson we're going to talk about addition, but in particular, bridging over the decade. But first, let's remind ourselves who and what are the friends of 10. So remember, the friends of 10 are numbers that add up to 10. So these numbers are 0 plus 10, 1 plus 9, 2 plus 8, 3 plus 7, 4 plus 6, 5 plus 5. Now with the same numbers but in reverse. So we start with 6 plus 4, 7 plus 3, 8 plus 2, 9 plus 1, and 10 plus 0. So let's discuss what is a decade. A decade is a group of 10. The DEC, or the DEC in decade, tells us it's about 10. So now we need to bridge over the 10, or over the decade. So when we are adding sums more than 10, we are bridging over the decade because we have more than 10. So let me show you using an example. So let me get my tools first. And I have these two 10 frames. Okay? All right, so my first number is six. So let me grab my six apples that are trying to escape. And then I've got little oranges and I've got seven of them. Okay, so this is my number sentence, six plus seven. So we're going to use our knowledge of friends of 10 to try and help us to add these up. So I need to make the seven into 10. So how do I do that? I'm going to move three of my apples because I have three spots left, okay? So let me do that first. Oh, is it trying to escape? Okay, so you'll see here that now I've made 10. So you see my original seven, and then I added three apples to make 10. So now my new number sentence is 10 plus three, which equals 13. Are you ready to do some more examples? So let's have a look at our first example, boys and girls. So our number sentence, as it stands, is seven plus nine, okay? But I need to use my knowledge of friends of 10 to make this a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm going to turn the nine into 10, but how many more do I need? I only have one more square left. So if I move one from my seven, and put it to the nine, my new number sentence will be 10 plus six. So what's 10 plus six, boys and girls? So 10 in my head, so that's easy. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 10 plus six equals 16. Let's have a look at our next question. So our next question is 15 plus 12. So 15 plus 12. So let's turn the 15 into 20. Okay, so where am I gonna, so how many more do I need boys and girls? So I've got 15, how many squares have I got left? One, two, three, four, five. So I need five. So I'm going to take five from the 12. So I'm going to take these two first. And then I will take these two bottom two, and then I'll take one from here, okay? So now, 
I have 20, because I have two 10 frames, and I have seven left. So my new set number sentence is 20 plus seven. So 20 plus seven equals what, boys and girls? So let's put the 20 in our head first. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So 20 plus seven equals 27. Let's have a look at our next question, boys and girls. Oh, look at all these blocks. Okay, big breath. Okay, so my next question is 24 plus 17, okay? So 24 plus 17. So let's turn this 24 into 30, okay? All right, so to do that, we need to take some from the 17 and put it to the 24. Okay, so let's do that. Okay. So we're going to add this a little bit differently, but first let's just make sure. So we've got 10, 20, 30. So I moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 from the 17, which leaves me 11, from, this, from the original 17, okay? So, there's a couple of ways we can do this. So we can count all the tens, which we'll do in a second, and then we can count the 30 plus the 11, okay? So let's do count the tens first. So let's count all the tens. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40. So I've got 40, so I put 40 in my head, plus one more. So 40 plus one is 41, okay? So that's one way to do it. The other way is to put 30 in our head. So 30 plus 10 more is 40, and then one more is 41. So 30 plus 11 equals 41. Now let's have a look at our last question, boys and girls. So our last question is 19 plus 18, okay? So we're going to turn this 19 into 20. So how many do I need to, to borrow from here, boys and girls? I only need one, so I'll quickly grab that one. Hold on. So now I've got 20. So I took the one from the 18, so I've got 20 here, and which, meet, which, which now leaves me with 17 on this side. So my new number sentence is 20 plus 17. Again, there's a couple of ways we can add this. So let's do it with counting by tens first. So we've got 10, 20, 30, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 30 plus 7 is 37. Or we've got 20, so let's put 20 in our head. 20 plus 10 more is 30 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which is 37. So my number sentence, 20, plus 17 equals 37. There is a worksheet, boys and girls, that needs you to bridge the numbers over the decade and then add them up. Boys and girls, you are doing a great job with all of that counting. Now that you know a little bit more about bridging over the decade, your next lesson could be to learn about fractions. Oh, I think that's when you cut things into parts. Sounds a little bit interesting, doesn't it, boys and girls? Why don't you come and join me in our next lesson to find out more? Hey, boys and girls, this is Miss Gemma. 
If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button under me and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram pages to stay up to date on everything we post. So boys and girls, I will see you in our next lesson.